Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to attach this infant carrier onto the base and also how to remove it from the base as well. If you're stopping by my channel for the first time, guys, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, please smash that thumbs up like button and turn on that post notification bell for upcoming videos. I'm going to dive on in quickly on this one. So when you're attaching the seat, you're going to want to make sure that you always put this handle in the upright position. So on the back of this seat, we're using the even flow safe max. You want to push this button here on this side here. And on the other side, there's also the same button over there as well too. Press them at the same time so you can rotate that handle on the upwards like so. When it's up like this, you're going to take the seat. You're going to hold the seat parallel to the base that's already installed. This base installed right here with the universal latch. If you check my descriptions below, I'll show you how to put this base in using the universal latch if you haven't done so already. And it's also, I have one with seatbelt as well too. I'll leave those both links down in the description box for you. But keep it parallel to the ground. And you're going to just put it straight down until you hear a click. So when it's clicked, it's in, it's in place right here, right? So you can just give it a little nudge to make sure it's in, right? Don't reef the seat up because if you do lift the seat up and reef it too hard, you're going to make this base right here become loose. And if you do that many times, over time this base becomes looser and looser and you're going to find it start wobbling all around. So you want to be sure that when you do your check, you just do a little slight thing to make sure it's connected to the base and you're good there. So that's the first part of getting it in. Now it's removing it is where parents sometimes may find it difficult. Some, or it can be parents, new parents, it can be grandparents, aunts, uncles, it could be a friend, it could be anybody that's trying to help, um, help a, a new parent out with the infant car seats. It's, it's trying to get the base, sorry, trying to get the seat back off the base. So that's where it becomes a problem and people are like start lifting, pulling, and they don't know where that button is to release it. So the button is actually right back here. So when you go to the back of the seat back here, you're gonna find a little handle at the back. So if you come back here underneath the back of the seat, you're gonna see right underneath it, there's a handle right here. That's the handle you gotta grab and pull up. So it's basically a squeezing motion. And when you're fully squeezing that handle up, that's when you wanna lift the seat out, right? And you wanna do it in one motion out. So you're gonna squeeze it and lift it out. So while I'm holding it here, I'll come back up here, all right? So I'm still holding it. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove it, okay? So I'm still holding it here. I'm going to switch hands, all right? So I'm going to release that handle right now. I'm going to take my other hand. I'm going to squeeze it. And I'm going to lift it straight up, all right, and out. And when I'm lifting it straight up and out, I'm holding this handle right here that's in the upright position. Just picking it right up and out, right? You don't want to start lifting the back first or the front first or rocking it to the side. You want one clean motion right up and out. And again, as I said, it will eliminate you lifting the base. And as over time, it becomes loose and loose. You don't want that. However, if you're watching this video for the first time and you did have that problem of the base becoming loose, again, just refer to my links below on how to install the base. It will show you how to put that base back in nice and tight. All right, guys. So I hope this helps. All right. Um, again, it's the two buttons on the side, you, you push side by side to put the handle up. You also push these two buttons side by side to put the handle back. So if you want it in the back position when you're driving, that's fine too. All right. And it's back here. This is the handle that sometimes gets overlooked or where to locate it or where to find it. It's just squeezing it all the way up. Once it's all the way up, you can lift it right out. All right. And what those things are doing, they're just releasing the locking mechanisms. You see on the side right here, those locks are going in. All right, as I squeeze it up, it takes the locks off, okay, and lets the car seat carrier come out. Okay, hey guys, if you enjoy this content that I'm putting out, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, smash that thumbs up like button. I really, really appreciate it. And turn on that post notification bell for upcoming videos. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave it down in the description box below and I'd really appreciate it. Again, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next